Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Coach Other Graphics. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to make this type of effect with just a power clip effect with just using your pixel lab. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel right now, like this video and drop a comment. So I'm going to be reducing this right now so that you can see what I'm working on and I'm going to be going my shape. I'll be drawing a circle right now. So once you're done drawing the circle, you have to centralize it and you go to your text color, you change your text color to red. You can put any color I'm using, but I'm going to be using red. So I'm going to click on good. So I'm going to click on this copy again. Once I click on this copy, I'm going to reduce it this time. Once I reduce it this time, I'm going to also put the text color in white. So please stay to the end of this video so that you understand how to create this features in your pixel app. So I'm just going to increase this. Okay, then I will have to centralize it. So once you are done doing this, you are also going to copy it again. Now this time, we are going to change the color back to red. And we are going to reduce it and centralize it in the center. So you can see it right now. So once you are done doing this, listen attentively. I'm going to be going my plug icon here. I'm going to be drawing a long shape. This is the shape I'm going to be drawing. So you can see it. So I'm going to be rotating it like this. You can see it. Make sure your white line does not enter the red circle. So once you are done, you are going to copy it. Sorry. You are going to copy it now. You are going to drag it here. Now you are going to rotate it. Sorry. You are going to rotate it. Let me block all this layer so that you see what I'm working on. So you are going to rotate it. You drop it here. You do the same thing. See, so anyhow you want the circle to be, you drop it like that. So you carry this and copy it, sorry. So you take this again and turn it here and drop your two here. So you can see how awesome this looks. So once you are done, listen attentively this time. So once you are done, we are going to be merging all of them together. But before we merge all of them, I'm going to be drawing a shape. I will be drawing a shape. Make sure your shape is in white color. You get make sure it's in white color. So once it's in white color, I'm going to click on this good icon. So we are going to centralize it right now. Once we are done centralizing it, we are going to send it to back. You can see now right now it's in the back. So I'm going to lock this layer. Hide and okay. Hide and lock this layer. So I'm going to be merging all of them. All the square and circle and all of them. The one I just used now. So I will merge all of them together. Oh, I did not merge this one. Okay, let me just merge all, all of them together. Okay. Now I'm done merging all of them together, you can see it now. So what you need to do now, we're going to go to our erase color. Listen attentively this time, we're going to go to our erase color. Enable your erase color, click on this thing, drag it here, drop it on the, um, your red color, you can see it. So you can see how awesome this looks now. So we're going to be importing our image we're going to be using for this video. So let me quickly import the image we are going to be using for our video. Okay, I'm going to go to my plus icon, go to from gallery. You can see I'm done importing all my image right now. So I'm going to click on this good icon. You can see all this image. But before that, I'm going to be working with the first layer right now. And it's my picture I'm going to be working on. So you click any picture to put on the middle, you click on it. You go to your crop of job, put it in a circle shape. Because once you then put it in a circle shape, then you take this like this, you reduce this. Okay, you reduce it like this. You can see once you're not doing this, you have to centralize it because it's the circle part. So we're going to take it to the back of the circle. Okay, let's bring this what we're working on to the front so that you see what we're working on here. So you can see I'm done working on this first image. So I'm going to be working on the second image. So the second image is going to be this. You can see it here, this. So I'm going to click it, take it to the front. Now this is what I will do. I will have to increase it to any size I want it to be right now. So once I'm done doing this, I'm also going to be taking it to the back of the circle. You can see it right now. I'm also going to take it to the back of the circle. So I'm also going to do others, the same thing to others. I'm going to be doing this to this fat guy too. Okay, so I'm going to reduce this. Make sure once you are reducing it, you are placing it carefully so that there won't be any mistake. So I'm done doing this. I'm also going to be taking the guy to the back. So you can see this, right? You can see this. Okay, let me take it to the front of this tree. So this is it. So I'm going to be working on this guy that is running right now. I'm going to be going to my eraser too. So I'm going to increase my eraser to increase the handle, increase everything. I'm, I'm going to be erasing this part now. But you see what we are working on, okay? Go to your eraser too. 
you can see this you can see this right now you can see how this looks so we are going to be working on this also so this tree i'm going to see going to um, click on this tree right now go to my eraser tool i'm going to be doing the same thing for the tree you get so i'm going to be doing the same thing for the tree so just try to erase it so okay just try to keep raising it you might get the exact thing you need yeah you can see i'm done working on this part so i'm also going to be using another image and this that is this man holding um this advert man so i'm going to be placing it right here and i'm going to be taking it to the back so you can see it take it to the back of this guy running okay you can see it right so i'm going to click on this guy running again go to my eraser to erase it so you are going to erase it like this down on the upper so once you're done you're going to click on this good icon right now so once you click on this good icon we are going to be working on this guy with his hand on his jaw you can just click on it or let me just input another image i'm going to be placing the image at the top part and that is this image right now this sun image so i'm going to be taking it to the back okay let me take it to the front so that you see the image so i'm going to be increasing it increase it like this you get just try to increase it to any size you want it to be. So once you're done, you take it to the back also. You can see this. Take it to the front of this man. So we are going to go to our eraser tool right now. Go to your eraser tool. Okay, let me just take this to the back of this tree. Take this man to the front. Okay, let me just drop it like this. So I'm going to go to my eraser tool. I'm going to be erasing this part, this up part right now. So just go to your eraser tool like this. Increase this, increase this, increase this. Just try along to erase this part. Okay, it's the top part I'm going to be erasing. So you can see how I erase this part. So once you're done, I'm going to click on this good now. Now you can see how awesome this looks now. You can see how this looks. So once you are going, once you are done, we're going to go back to click on this thing. You can see it here. This my my touch here okay you click on this thing right now click it now you're going to go to your stroke you go to your stroke you enable your stroke you can put your stroke color in any place but i'm going to put my own in black you can increase your stroke width to any width you want to use okay but i'm dropping my own in three so once you are done doing this we are going to merge all of them together by merging all of them together so this is it. okay let me merge all of them You can see I'm done merging all of them together. So what I'm going to do right now, just go to your eraser, erase color, enable your erase color. You can see how this looks. Try to increase the tolerance so that it will erase properly. Okay, my tolerance is in 21. So this is it, guys, for today. If you love this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell. Don't forget to share this video to your friends and family. So that they can also learn. See you in our next video.